Hello guys, so if you're here, you're probably wanting to learn about some turtles programming or maybe you're just not sure yet, but um, if you're not sure, I'm going to try to keep it not too overwhelming. I'm going to go slowly and hopefully it'll get you interested because I think programming in general is a good thing to learn and I mean if you're doing it in Minecraft, it's, it's it could be pretty fun and I mean skills that you might develop could transfer over to real life applications. I mean. I mean, in the future, programming is going to be a pretty big deal um, in the near future. So let's just jump right into it. First of all, you can craft yourself um, a computer. Um, I mean, uh, computers and turtles, they work the same way. The way you manipulate the files, um, the, way to, the way you use these, they work pretty much the same. Um, you can use computers for a few things, but you're probably here for turtles because you can do a lot more with turtles. Um, so you know, um, computers. The basic, basically, you can you can get a turtle without any tools on it, and that's basically like a computer, but it can move. It can do a couple other things, but I mean, it's not really anything you can do anything with. Um, the three types of turtles that you might make good use of are mining turtles, um, melee turtles, and farming turtles. The, the tools that they have are the pickaxe, the sword, and the hoe. Now you don't need diamonds. Um, I would recommend not using diamonds because it's more rare. The only benefit to using diamonds is if you're using a mining turtle. Um, if you don't have diamond, you won't be able to pick up obsidian. You can break the obsidian, but you won't. The turtle won't collect it. It'll just disappear, like like if it was broken in creative mode. Um, other than that, there's no reason to use diamond in the other types of turtles, melee and farming. Now you can make digging turtles with a shovel. I don't see any point in this because anything this this turtle can do, a mining turtle with a pickaxe can do. And same thing for the, the axe turtle, the felling turtle for trees. You can make tree farms using a mining turtle. So I mean, I don't see any point in, in these two, um, but they're there. So. Let's just start off, let's just um, get rid of all these turtles except for the mining turtle. I'm going to be working with the mining turtle. And for this first video, oops, they're actually dropping. Um, for this first video, I'm just going to be explaining the basics of how to, let me turn delete mode on. Is it on? Nope. All right. Oh, well, I'll just get rid of them this way. So I'm going to explain in this video the basics of how to manipulate files and how to create files and how to just use the interface of the turtle. So the first thing you want to do before anything else, because if you don't do this, your turtle will not save any data, any programs you give it, any fuel you give it. It's not going to save any data unless you do this before breaking your turtle, before picking it up. You have to type in the command label then set and you give it the name of the turtle so I'm gonna say nums turtle I'm num and that's my turtle so label set nums turtle you can name it whatever you want so it says computer label set to nums turtle so now if you were to break this turtle in your inventory it actually says nums turtle whatever you name it alright so now that you got that uh, I need to show you how to create files so there is a built-in editor to in these turtles, but I would not recommend using this text editor built-in unless it's just a simple change to a program. But this is not a great editor, so um, I'm going to show show you um, this command. You can type in edit, and then you type in the name of of your program. Um, this doesn't have to be an existing program, but it can be. So this is how to create new files as well as editing existing files. So let's just name it first program. Edit first program. Um, capitalization doesn't really matter. I'm just I'll just do that. Um, so edit first program. That's going to create this this first program for us. Now if we were to write some code, that's some code, and then you um, in order to save this program, you just press Control. Use your arrow keys to move um, control this menu. You have to choose save, press enter on save, and then go to exit. Make sure you save it before exiting or anything, any code you write is not going to be saved. Um, and once you do that, then you could you can come back later and go type in edit first program, and you can see your code is still there. 
So you can use that edit command to create new files and edit existing files. All right. So in order to run your programs, you just type the name of the program. So you would just say first program or whatever whatever you named your program. You can be anything. All right. And of course, that's what an error looks like. I just got an error because I just I didn't give it actual code. I just wrote whatever and it doesn't know how to handle that. All right. So that's how you that's like how you can edit programs using the turtle, but that's not how I would recommend doing it. All right. Um, I would recommend using either normal notepad or notepad plus plus. Um, you could use normal notepad. Um, uh, what you do, you just open notepad, you write your code, it's just some text, and then um, the best way to do this is to go to pastebin.com, the website, and there's going to be some, um, some, there's going to be a big text input window. And this text input window is where you're going to paste all your code into from your notepad. So you just copy all, you select all your code from your notepad document and just paste it all into Pastebin. And then you click submit or whatever. And then um, Pastebin is going to give you a URL. So at the top of the page in the, in the address box, you're going to see something like pastebin.com. And once you're viewing your, your paste, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have an ID. It's going to have an eight character ID. So it's going to have like something like that. All right, and there's going to be, I think, numbers mixed in too. So um, what you need to do is you need to go to your, you need to look at this uh, address that you're given. You need to highlight the eight, the eight characters, only the eight characters, and you're going to copy that. You like right click and click copy, or you just control V, and then you're going to come back to your turtle, and you're going to give it this command. You're going to say paste bin, get, and then you paste in that eight character the eight character code, whatever it is. And then you just, um, after that, you type in the name of this program that you want to, You, I mean, this can be whatever you want. So paste bin get that, and then you would say uh, test, whatever you want your program to be named. Then you say enter. It's probably gonna give me an error. I already have a program called test. So let me delete test. Now there's a key, um, one thing that you should know about turtles is you can press the up arrow to go to previous command. So now let me go ahead and do this. Connecting to pastebin.com, it's probably gonna say, yeah, failed because I just made up that that ID, the paste ID. So that's not actually a real ID. All right. So um, let me see, other commands that would help you navigate the turtles files. Um, one thing that you should learn or know is DIR. I think it's short for directory, but when you say that, it'll it'll, show you all the folders and files in this directory. So this is like, you have to picture you're in a folder. So this is like the main folder. There's ROM and there's first program. First program is the one we created. ROM is always there on, on any computer. So um, you could, uh, if you typed in first program now, it would, well, you, you can see just like before, it would give us the error. So this, um, that, but that's how you run programs. Now, if we were to type in ROM, this is a folder. So um, no such program you can see. So um, you have to use it in order to change folders. You have to do something um, CD that stands for change directory. CD ROM. So now we're in ROM. That's what this uh, you can see. This this means we're in the ROM. We're in ROM now. So now if we say dir, we can see what's in this directory. There's API oh APIs and there's help and programs and startup. So let's see what help does. Help, welcome to craft OS. So this is kind of teaching you what I'm teaching you now. Um, I've never really looked at this. Press any key to continue. All right, all right, so now we're back in ROM. I'm gonna say clear to clear the screen. All right, so let's see what else is in here. Programs, let's, let's go to programs. So let's, um, so you type in programs and it actually runs a program that lists out all the uh, programs, I guess. That's what it seems like. All right, so you can see this is a list of programs that every turtle already has when you craft it. So let's uh, see what excavate does. So we can type in excavate. All right, so now it's telling us the actual usage of that. We have to say excavate and then we have to give it a number. So let's go ahead and give it the number five. All right, so it's out of fuel. 
One other thing to learn about turtles is you gotta give them fuel. So let me just get some cold coke. Oops. I'm just gonna give it all this fuel. In order to re in order to refuel, you gotta say refuel, and you give it the number of items you want to use. Another shortcut: if you're giving it a bunch of fuel, you can just say refuel all, and that'll use up everything that it can in its inventory to fill up its fuel. So. Um, you can see it gave us this number. So the fuel level is now 20,480. That means this turtle has enough fuel to move 20,480 blocks. It doesn't use fuel for using its tool. It doesn't um, use fuel for breaking items or brace, I mean breaking blocks or placing blocks. It only uses fuel when it moves one block. So um, you can use that to figure out how much fuel you're going to need if you're going to run a program or something later on. All right, so now let's try this excavate program. See what happens. All right, so excavate, and we got to give it a number. Excavate five. All right, so it's excavating. So this is actually a built-in program that that you can run without needing to know how to program on your own. But this isn't extremely efficient, and this has its own problems. Like, so you, if you want, you can write a better excavation program later on after you've learned some more stuff, which which is what I've done. I've I've uh, written more efficient excavation programs. All right, but I'm gonna. I don't want that to run right now. All right, so now you pretty much know how to manipulate files. So remember, in order to to create um, the the files, it's just a text document. You just paste all the paste it all into paste bin, and get the eight character ID, and you would say paste bin get the ID, which is eight characters, and then the name of your program. This is just name, whatever name you want to give it. All right. So, um, what if, what if you're playing in single player and you're not? I mean, that works on a server, but if you're playing on single player and you want to download from Pastebin, you might need to first click Open to LAN, and this will basically uh, open up your server to. It, I mean, basically, it's like running a, a local server. And I mean, if if you can't already do the paste spin thing, this would allow it. So now you can do the paste spin if it wasn't working before. So you can see local game hosted. All right. So what else? What else? Other pieces of knowledge I have. Miscellaneous stuff. Different commands you can do. You can delete files. For example, if you got if you downloaded something from paste spin and you wanted to call it dig, it's a, it's a Let's just say we created a program called dig. So we have edit. I'm just going to say edit dig and then I'm going to say uh, save and I'm going to exit. So now you can see in our programs we have dig in there. So now let's say uh, we found a bug. So we ran a program called dig. We did this and we ran the program and it, and it finished. But maybe um, it had a slight bug and we want to change something. So now we can't, let's say we wanted to download a new paste bin. For that that program, like an updated version, you can't just say paste bin get um, id dig. You can't you can't do that again. It's gonna say file already exists. So what you gotta first do, you can say delete dig, and that's how you can delete um, files. So now in the directory, you can see that dig is not there anymore. Another thing you can do is rename. So you can rename, for example, first program to test. So what you do is you type the word rename, then you type the name of the existing program, then you type the new name of it. There you go. Now in dir directory we got test instead of first program. All right. Clear. And I think that's enough to get you started. Now the next episode I'm going to teach you how to write a basic program and then I'll teach you more advanced topics as we go. So hopefully you guys are learning some stuff, and I'll see you next time.